Jeff. What's up? Once again, back. Who did three minutes of meditation yesterday? Just hit me with it right away. Who did it? I know somebody did it. Because I know I did one hour. Like a boss. Threw it down. One hour. The fuck? <laughs> um, solar plexus chakra. That's the... Uh, that's the yellow one. So I threw down with the solar plexus. I went deep on one hour. It was hardcore. Went into some nice, um, you know, so, some nice deep seated relaxation and uh, processing of resistance. So that was hardcore. Um, here's the thing. Th this is the truth. This is the real truth of what I'm learning now from, let's say, 10 months, I'd say probably 10 months of one hour of meditation every single day. As Gary V says, if you want to learn about uh, like social media marketing and stuff, you actually just want to talk about the things like document your journey. People find that interesting apparently. So let's find out. Uh, so what I've learned doing one hour of meditation for like probably 10 months, I'm sure, Yo, if you just fucking do it, if you just actually do it, if you just commit yourself to doing it religiously, like just get obsessed with it, just get, it gets to the point where you don't even consider not doing it. It's like if you're working out, it's like if you go to the gym, like, like I can remember when I used to work out like hardcore, like I wouldn't even have considered the idea of not going to the gym and working out. Like I couldn't even, I couldn't even fathom the idea. I couldn't even, I couldn't even think about it. Not going to the gym and working out seemed so absurd to me. I couldn't even relate to a person who didn't go to the gym like every single day. So what I found is I've just, mind you, that was not always the most healthy option because in some ways I was just working out like an idiot and like hurting my muscles and stuff and it's not always that's not always like the most healthy things there's a lot of idiots in the gym who are all fucked up inside and they're just jacked on juice and tearing their fucking muscles to pieces and they're they're it's not really the best thing for them for sure but if you can take that mentality and shift it over to to this idea with meditation yo that's the idea that's what you want like this is the this is the the way forward for sure as my british friend marky mark used to say it's the way forward lukey boy <laughs> so it's the way forward it's the way forward you, you want to just become obsessed with meditating if you're just starting do three times a week okay three minutes three times a week that will get you started you're you're just getting in the door okay but for now that's all you need like that's all that's all that you want just three just three minutes and you'll get you it will get you like accustomed to that level of discomfort because at the beginning you're going to be super discomfort super uncomfortable massive discomfort as i was saying to someone the other day this is an example from stephen pressfield's book um the war of art if you haven't read that definitely highly recommend Stephen Pressfield, The War of Art. Joe Rogan used to have a stack of them on his desk, and he would just hand them out to people. He'd just hand them out, like, go read this right away. So he's a legend, uh, and this book, Stephen Pressfield, The War of Art. And he would talk about how, you know, like the resistance that you face when doing something whether it's like drawing a picture or writing like a poem or meditating or whatever it is, or even like the resistance of going to the gym, if that's your issue, it's like whatever that resistance is, that's your work. Like that's your job. That's your fucking job. So if you're not doing that, you're not even fucking working. Like you're not even working yet. And that is like a common misconception. People think that if they go to fucking med school and they study in books for 12 or 14 hours a day and they stress themselves out over exams and bullshit and writing fucking assignments, they think that they're working hard. A lot of times you're not even doing anything. 
You're avoiding work. You're just, you're just, you may as well be just smoking meth. Because you're just avoiding, it's like that person in reality, what they really want to do is be a fucking, they want to, they want to be a person who's like expressing themselves through like drawing. I'm not saying you have to abandon your career, but I am saying you have to lean into that resistance of whatever it is. So if you're, if you're studying in books at med school for 10 hours a day, that doesn't give you the right to then abandon your, your, your you pursuing, oh, nice, Agent Q, thanks, brother, for coming, man, you're a legend, um, so you have to still lean into the resistance, whatever that is, so if you're going to med school for 10 or 12 hour days and writing papers and stuff, you still have to then find time to express yourself via whichever outlet or artistic avenue that you have within yourself, and often, especially in our society, and especially in Western society, we, al we always reward the person who, quote-unquote, works hard at, like, I'm going to fucking build a massive fucking billion-dollar empire. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become, like, a super successful lawyer, blah, blah, blah. And we call that work. What I would argue, and what Stephen Pressfield argues in this book, The War of Art, is that, in fact, the real work the more difficult work for that person who's like hyper, hyper successful in like being a fucking lawyer, like I'm a lawyer, I'm taking over fucking companies every day, yeah, yeah. Or these like corporate takeover dudes who are like worth billions and billions of dollars and they're just fucking obsessed with more money, fucking more. There's nothing wrong with having money, there's nothing wrong with being successful. But if you're fundamentally avoiding your art that's inside yourself, that's a bit weird, right? So you have to still address that. You becoming like hyper successful, you becoming hyper successful in like Wall Street or some kind of like really, really like hardcore lawyer or something, that's fine if you desire to do that, but it doesn't, you can't just abandon like your inner passion. So the example is that, um, the example that Pressfield uses is, it's, it's, it's a fucking good example. He says that it was easier, now get this, and this is why I say this, sometimes it's easier for that guy to make billions of dollars on Wall Street than it is for him just to face the reality within himself, within himself that he in fact wanted to write short stories, right? He truly, what he really wanted was to write short stories. But he, rather than him just sit down and write a short story, that corporate takeover guy was easier for him to make billions and billions of dollars. It's, look how weird that is. Rather than him just face the reality, and people do this, right? Now, the example that Pressfield uses is, it was easier for Adolf Hitler to take over all of Europe Okay, to conquer all of Europe. That was that was the easier path rather than him just sit the fuck down and and draw a picture and improve his art. He was if you don't know, Hitler was an artist before he became into politics and stuff. He was he wanted to become a successful artist and he tried to get into like the Vienna School of Art or whatever. They rejected him. So rather than him improve upon his art he just abandoned that and went on this big fucking crusade of man nah, i hate everyone yeah kill everyone nah, nah, nah. see it was easier for him to do that and look at all the bullshit that got caused from it millions of people fucking died huge war and bullshit and everything and it disrupts everything so the point is that you have to actually focus and do whatever that is within yourself and you can't just escape it. It's like, it's not good enough for you just to go to university and, and get fucking straight A's on everything. That's not good enough, right? People constantly want to just, people constantly want to use these things as resistance, as excuses. Oh, I can't, I can't because I have to go to law school. I can't. I'm really fucking picking on the law school today. <laughs> but, it, but it's true, though. It's like people find these reasons, right? They, people will start families so that they can avoid responsibility, as crazy as that sounds, right? Like they'll, they'll, they'll start a whole family so they, no, I can't take care of myself because I have to take care of my kids. I don't have time to work out. 
because I have to take care of my kids, right? Well, who the fuck are you taking care of when you're 400 pounds? Like, Grant Cardone talks about this. Um, he says, he says, like, where people are like, I don't have time to, to talk with customers. I don't have time to build my business. I need to spend time with my kids. Grant Cardone, who has a couple of kids, he says, what the fuck are you doing spending time with your kids? He's like, you ain't selling shit to your kids. What the fuck? Go spend time with your customers. You can make sales. You can build relationships. That's what you need to be doing. He's like, you can spend time. You can always spend time with your kids, but you need to be focused on building your business or you're not going to become successful. So what do you want to do? Right? Like, what is it that you want to do? Like, how do you want to express yourself? And you need to find out what actually is that rather than just what's convenient or what's easy. What really is it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I saw this all the time when I was worked in the university industry, like constantly. I Like every fucking person that I, because I was a tutor, like I tutored in statistics. So every fucking person I, I tutored was like this. They're like, I have to become a fucking teacher. I have to become a lawyer. I have to become a doctor. And all those, like all those, since I had like such a wide variety of students came through because I was, I was tutoring statistics. So like all these careers needed to pass statistics so they all came through and it's like not any of them gave a shit about statistics they all just wanted to like carry on and and they just it, to me it, they just seemed like junkies they just seemed like drug addicts who were just like addicted to fucking a pluses i need a fucking a plus i need an a plus i can't wait to get an a plus it's retarded like how many a pluses and, and the universities just sit there and they just hand out a pluses if you fill out their forms right and pay a fee right and they're just, to me, they're just breeding junkies. They're just breeding junkies who are addicted to A pluses. It's fucking pathetic. And like constantly, I would, I would get all these students and it was like, it was to the point where I was like, couldn't even like, I, it was like I could, and I couldn't even like hardly help them with statistics because it was like, your life is so fucked up that I need to charge you twice as much and actually help you unwind your bullshit because you're fucking addicted to pills you're drunk, you're fucking suicidal, you're in fucked up relationships. And it was like, again and again, I would see this. It's like, you people are not facing any resistance. You're just cramming through tests and stuff. You're just, you're just, to me, it's just like self-harm. They're just like, in, they're just avoid, they're just involved in avoidance, self-deception, self-harm. But yet the whole society is clapping and singing for them. Yay, you're a fucking lawyer. Yay. I'm like, that's not cool. Like, well, you're pointless. Like, this is pointless. So the point of this all, I guess, a little bit of a fucking rant here, but the, the point of this all is if you, if you can't face three minutes, three minutes of meditation, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You need to do that. You need to face that. There is nothing more important than that. Like, there's nothing more important. I can't because I have to shut up. Just shut the fuck up. Do it. Like, what? what the fuck? You do it. You drop everything. I can't because I'm holding a hot plate of soup. You fucking drop the soup. You drop the soup right on the ground. And you fucking lay down in the hot soup and you do your meditation. That's what you do. I can't though. It's fucking my mom's recipe. Shut the fuck up. You drop the soup. You lay in the soup. You fucking meditate in the soup. And by the time you're done, the soup is cold <laughs> and you're fine, right? But what you don't do is you don't continuously make up excuses why you can't fucking meditate for three minutes a day. That shit is pathetic. You're a fucking loser. You need to give up your bullshit and get started. You get started, okay? It's like you can do it. You can do it. Trust me, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Like, I'm not a person who is, like, in some way built to be some kind of fucking meditation guru. I was constantly facing resistance of, I can't do this. This is stupid. I don't know how. People would literally tell me it was stupid. Literally. Like, people actually would... Cons I could go on with examples. People would literally say to me, like, yeah, man. Yeah, why don't you go meditate? <laughs> 
that happened on numerous occasions. Like, do not expect like massive support. Maybe I faced like extra resistance than the average person. I don't know. Probably not. Probably everyone does. But who knows? It's like if you have people around you who are encouraging you, that's fucking awesome. That's wicked. You should go with it and and fucking send some support my way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it was like I don't really remember that. I don't remember seeing a lot of that. But that's maybe why maybe that was a good thing because maybe that's giving me more passion to encourage others. Like I don't know how much encouragement there is out there. Yesterday on the live class, on the live stream, Agent Q was saying like, "Man, there's no one else doing this, so you should fucking do it." So I'm like, "All right, cool. Like I'll do it. Give a fuck." I'm going to do this shit like every day now for like till fucking Christmas probably at least for like multiple, multiple months. I like to go hardcore on shit. I like to drop like heavy duty shit, like just drop it for months and be like, well, let's find out because I think there's so much, the bar so low. I find people will just give up right away. David Goggins says the average person gives up at 40%. They just give up. It gets a little hard and they just, they do a little more and they quit 40%. That's it. You quit at 40. You weren't even halfway to your capacity and you quit. I think he's being generous to some degree. Who knows? Like, I don't know. But it's like, so I like to go pretty hard on things. Be like, no, no, let's go a fucking couple months. Good. And if there's literally zero people on three months of live streams or a couple of months, all right, well, there you go. Then there was no demand for it. At least we know now. It's like someone who's like, I can't work out. I can't. No, I can't. It doesn't work. Really? Did you do 100 push-ups a day for fucking six months? No. Well, do that and let's see. No, I just, you do it. You do it. You do 100 push-ups a day. That's what you do. You do 100 push-ups a day for six months. Did you do that? You didn't do it? Well, then you can't say anything because you didn't do it. So you actually have to get down and do some shit. And that's why, like, three minutes, three minutes of meditation for three fucking months, three times a week. I don't think there's going to be anybody that does that and then comes back and is like, that was stupid, Luke. You're a fucking idiot. I don't even think that that's going to happen. I think anyone that actually does that, anyone that actually sticks with that, I think they could be anything they fucking wanted. I think so. If you fucking did that, if you actually did that, I think you could be anything in the fucking world you want to be. If you don't do it, or if you don't find something to stick with, I don't think you're going to mount to shit. It's just, I just don't think it's going to happen. Like, I don't think, I don't think it's going to happen. Like, you're not going to, if you don't stick, if you don't find something to stick with, you're never going to, you're never going to mount anything. You're just going to sit around all day long playing, playing little make-believe games, right? You're just going to be playing make-believe games, pretending that you're going to get somewhere, pretending that... One day, some magical day in the future, you're going to like miraculously get your shit together and start working on something. I don't even believe that for a second. Like (laughs) today's the day, like today's the day. It's like, and that's what's funny about the world. That's what's funny about our society is like you need, you almost need someone like me to sit here And for like three or four months or however long I'm going to do this, I'm still contemplating it, I suppose, at least a couple months to do a live stream and a YouTube video, like literally every day for months and months and months to convince a person, to convince like maybe one person to invest in themselves three minutes. Like that's the truth, man. That that's how low the bar is. Like, that's what is needed. It's like we need, that's why we're, because we just produce fucked up people. We just produce weak and shitty and fucked up and stupid people. Like, that's what we do. We, it, like, yes, there's cool people there too, but we're not like on mass producing high quality people. We're on mass c- creating massively mediocre people. Just mediocre at best. Like, mediocre is not good. Do not fuck around with mediocre. I don't fuck around with mediocre. I just have no desire for mediocre. Gets me fucking nowhere. The only thing I want to be mediocre is uh, the temperature of my water, which reminds me, I think I'll have a drink of water. The temperature of my water, room temperature, mediocre temperature. That's about it. That's fine for water. Nothing else. 
You never can be mediocre in your life. Nope, not allowed. Can I just be mediocre <laughs> just once? Can I just do a meet? No, no. You got to be fucking great. You got to be legendary. You got to get it done. You got to become massively successful in whatever it is you want to do because that's why you were put on this earth, right? That's why you were done it. That's why you were put here. Okay, that was my mediocre water. We're fine now. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah. Basically, that's what we're working with. It, it, the bar is low. So, it, it like, you almost need to hire somebody. Like, I'm going to have to put my services out there to be hired out to just, like, to just, like, consistently convince a person to invest a slight amount in themselves. Like, people will pay any amount of money to avoid investing in themselves, right? Like, like someone would rather, someone would probably rather pay me to sit there with them for fucking two hours and, like, listen to them explain reasons why they can't do two, three minutes of meditation. That's the truth. Like, I bet you I could, it would be easier for me to convince someone to pay me $400 an hour to listen to them explain why they can't do three hours of meditation rather than me charge nothing and just let them know they just need to do three minutes of meditation. That's all you need to do. You don't need to pay me anything. Just do three minutes of meditation. But there, there's like no one who will take that up. Like it's super, super slight. A super small percentage of people will take me up on that. But I could probably get a fucking backlog of people if I just put the put a sign out. Luke's fucking spiritual coaching, $400 an hour. He has special fucking messages from God. He knows special fucking magic spells and he has pixie dust. People, oh really? Oh Jesus. For only $400? What a deal. I'll take that shit. That's, that's the truth. Like people will, that's why, that's why there's like unlimited, there's like unlimited, um, market for that stuff. There's like unlimited market for magic fucking slimming shakes. Do you really need a slimming shake or you just, you just need to stop eating sugar and start exercising and start eating tons of greens? Just do that. No, I want a slimming shake. Okay. Like, and there's always someone out there who's going to take your money. Like, there's always someone who will take your money. So, why not just invest in yourself with a bit of meditation, and then you can send me money later, okay? Do that. Once you actually do your shit, and then you feel, va you feel value within yourself, then you can be like, hey, you know what? I'm glad Luke did that for me. I'm glad he fucking screamed at me. <laughs> I'm glad he fucking ranted on about that, and actually, I'm going to send him $100, because that was fucking legit. That's how it works. And if I can get a million people to, to do the triple three meditation challenge, a million people, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. A million people. Each one of those people send me fucking, fuck it, just a dollar. Send me a fucking dollar. I'll be a millionaire. Fucking A. And then I'll just sit here in the fucking out with the trees and I'll just look at the trees and the leaves and they'll be cool. I'll just chill and I'll be a millionaire and I'll just fucking be laughing about it. That's how it works. That's my game plan. That's my life right now. So let's do it. And your job is to do your fucking three minutes. Really, that or or at least write your excuse. At least just DM me with an excuse. Just DM me. Just be like, oh, Luke, I couldn't. My, oh, I couldn't, Luke, because aliens abducted my fucking aunt, Betty. And I had to go to the alien embassy. And I had to fill out some forms to get my Aunt Betty back from the aliens. Okay, cool. I mean, at least you took time to make up an interesting excuse. So here's the thing. You either... It's like, that's the truth now. That's the truth. It's like... It, yeah. You either need to... You need to either DM with the... I did the three minutes of meditation. Or you need to DM with the really good excuse. You either had a, like three extra... You grew three extra heads and you had to get them all removed. So you actually couldn't meditate. Even that wouldn't even be an excuse because I would have said, good, you should have done the, the meditation in the waiting room. I actually was like doing an active meditation recently in the waiting room. It was fucking hard. It was brutal. Man, that was hard. And in fact, that day, after I did that, when I came home, I only did half an hour that day, to be honest. I came home and I only did half an hour because I was like, 
that was such a challenging experience to like stay centered within this waiting room. I was like, shit, I better only do half an hour today. <laughs> and then the challenge was to not feel guilty about it. I felt like, no, you know what? That is the right choice. And I'm not going to beat myself up about it. So there's always a challenge. You know what I mean? Do you know what the challenge is right now? Um, figuring out something to say for another five minutes. So it's a full half an hour. But you know what? That's not a challenge. Because I could just go on and on about anything. Because I have an unlimited fucking access to the universal potential of all things. Want to know why? <laughs> if I was into being like a guru, I'd been like, because I'm sent from fucking God. <laughs> I'm sent from God to spread the message of universal spirit. And um, also I look like Brad Pitt, so it doesn't matter. So it's set and I'm going to soon be a millionaire once I get a million people to meditate, do the triple three meditation challenge, then they'll all send me a dollar and I'll be a millionaire. Boom. And I'll still look like Brad Pitt and we'll be set. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, for real though, I'm going to do another hour today. I don't give a fuck. It's going down. Um, heart chakra today. Heart chakra is always interesting. It's the green one up here. Green seems to be fucking intense. You always get some hardcore vibrations going on the heart chakra. I'm fucking going into it. Like I'm doing it. Like lately I'm meditating down in my basement because it's so hot out. Like I'm even like sweating right now. It's so hot. Um, so I'm just meditating in the basement. It's pretty, it's cool down there. I just have like a, like a little like blanket on the floor and a pillow i just get back in the dark it's really dark down there i'm just gonna do it heart chakra meditation what are you gonna do if you're watching this and you didn't do a meditation you better dm me with a good excuse that's all i can say or if it's youtube put a good comment put a fucking good comment of why you didn't do your three minutes meditation because you know I'm doing it. You know Agent Q's doing it. Because he's a boss and he does 15 minutes every day. Like a boss. Plus he's been doing affirmations and shit. I haven't even got into the affirmations. That's a whole other story. Maybe we'll maybe we'll start that later. Like after some months, we'll get into some affirmations. Because I've been using affirmations too. But you don't need to worry about that. For now, you just do the meditation. You crank it out. You get jacked up. This is like, meditation is like the new working out. It really is. It's like the new gym. It's like, do you even lift, bro? Do you even meditate, bro? Get it going. It's much more, it's hardcore. It's more hardcore. And all the dudes that used to be in meditation, that used to be in the bodybuilding, they're probably in meditation now. Look at Dorian Yates. Doesn't even meditate. Doesn't even work out. Just does yoga and shit. He's all about it now. Boys are evolving. People are evolving. We're all evolving as people, you know? We don't stay the same. We grow, we learn, we become better, hopefully. Or we fuck around and stay the same, like a pathetic fucking loser, and we just become a cesspool of bullshit and fucking pointlessness. No one wants to be around you because your shit's all fucked up. That's how it works. So if you don't want to be like that, you have to evolve. You have to change. That's why we're here. You look at the tree, it doesn't just sit there. It fucking grows. It makes leaves, and then the leaves die, and it's got fucking woodpeckers crawling around. It's like an ecosystem, man. you got to become an ecosystem. you got to become a real live person, a human being, not a fucking fake little 2D motherfucker. You don't just be like a, a two-dimensional person. you got to become a three-dimensional person, an engaging person, like a dynamic person that has ideas, has thoughts, has new experiences, processes through old experiences, engages with cool people with cool ideas that's how you become a cool person who doesn't want to be? it's not like high school it's not like the movies it's not like junior high school where you either were a cool kid who sat at the cool kids table or you were a fucking nerd who sat at the nerd table it's like that's not junior high is not reality really it's fucking stupid it's like a state-run little fucking system this is the reality is that you can just become cool you just learn how to be cool you just grow as a person that's cool meditation is cool right that's what you do Know what I'm saying? Okay. 30 seconds left. So you already know what I'm going to say. Don't make me say it again. If you can't handle... Here's the thing. If you can't handle the message and you're not down for this meditation challenge, go watch something else. Go watch a fucking prank video. Go watch a fucking cat video. Go watch, go watch fucking... Um, you know what I mean? Go watch people do fucking pranks on their friends and, and 
watch those YouTube videos with like fast editing style, dip, 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 and they fucking go watch reviews of fucking go watch uh, Twitch, go watch my, go watch fucking Call of Duty online and follow that for fucking ten hours a day. You know what I'm saying? If you're watching this shit, that means you're keen to improve, to to learn, to join a fucking successful group of people. And you know what the fee is? Well, there's no fee yet, monetarily, but there is a fucking commitment of, you said it, three minutes of meditation. Three times a week for three months. Get up on it. Get it done. I'm going to do my shit today. Heart chakra. It's happening. You better do yours. Let me know if you did it. All right? Until next time, peace out.